All of us have needs. We have material needs. We have monetary needs. We have financial needs. And I want you to know God promises to meet those needs. He tells the Philippians in chapter 4, verse 19, Paul writing, and Paul says, My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in Christ Jesus. God shall supply all your needs. What a great promise. But realize this is verse 19, and it's helpful to read it in context with verse 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, which tells us the reason Paul promised that God would meet the Philippians' needs is because they had given generously, sacrificially, to meet his needs. They, he wrote Philippians as a thank you letter because they sent him a care gift when he was in prison. Because they gave to meet his needs, he was confident that God would give to meet their needs. Recognize this about giving. God's a giving God and he loves it when we give and the key to receiving is giving. Luke chapter 6 verse 38 says, Give and it shall be given unto you pressed down, shaken, and running over. God wants to give generously, but it starts when we give first. Give and it shall be given unto you. Proverbs on more than one occasion says that when we give to the poor, we lend to the Lord and He will meet our needs. When we meet the needs of the poor, God takes up the obligation to meet our needs. God is a generous giving God, and I want to encourage you do your part. Don't, when, when money gets tight, don't hang on tighter. Continue to be generous to God and to people in need. And as we give, God will show us miraculously that he'll give to us. Several years ago, my family, my kids were little. We were starting a church. We didn't have a lot of money. And we were giving sacrificially to our church. And then we had a building uh, program at our church and we needed we were asking our people to give even extra sacrificially well our family did and it was a sacrifice but after a few months of giving above and beyond our tithe I got a, a check in I got a letter in the mail from a bank with a check in it and said this money is yours you we're closing out your account and we wanted to send you the money well, I couldn't remember having any money in that bank. I hadn't lived in that town 300 miles away. I hadn't lived there in years. But yet they, this bank on that day sent me a check for $943. I called the bank. I said, are you sure? Is this right? They said, it's your money. Cash the check. Well, I immediately went to my uh, budget book and I looked, how much have we given to God above our tithe that year? And guess what? nine hundred and forty three dollars. God promises to meet our needs when we give to others.